escape path. Okay. Career so, mode. Uh, this one we've got to do without turning it off. Complete. In Completely clean the castle without turning it off. Okay, so I'm going to step yep. away from the button. Step away from the button. Step away from the button. Just a quick one. Just to, just to come... Just for everyone, including those in the ever so lovely chat. One game... So, it's going to be a sort of game that you can do without and that you'd happily bin off and... Throw, Brink. In, throw into the pits of hell. Brink. One that you would play, but only go back to if you couldn't, if you hadn't got anything else to play, and one game that you'd happily play on constant and on repeat. One game I'd go back to if I had to. Yeah, probably, so one game probably... that you'd play, but you'd only go back to if you didn't have anything else to play, because it was somewhat decent and you enjoyed it probably minecraft yeah because I'd probably, I think I'd, I'd... obviously i was really into it and ran the server and everything and then obviously as i got older no time but obviously like when we have the realm i i still enjoy playing it i still yeah I'd have, we can always go back to it at some point like well that's why i that's why i pay for the realm because it's a thing of yeah because then can we can we can just, just jump in jump on whenever we want yeah for me i'd say and it's a bit of an odd one i'd say grounded is that one that i'd go back to as and when you know as we've been playing it lately and i found it yeah. actually enjoyable it's essentially minecraft but with better graphics and but what would you play cons what would you always play see mine would have been cod because i used to just play cod Day in, day out, hour upon hour upon hour. What would I get? I'd have to say Pokemon. Because I do play a lot of Pokemon. I've got back I... on the Switch. I haven't ever, 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 ever played a legit Pokemon game. I played... Red, blue, and yellow, but I had them on an R4 card. Yeah. Um, I didn't really play... I haven't played... I played Pokemon Go for a bit, and that was it. But no, nah, I mean... Any game that I would ha happily bin off would honestly have to be like... Fucking hell, let's think what game have I played. It'd be Destiny 2. It'd be, that would be the one that I would honestly bin off. If I was given the choice of... You've got a chance to save... To, to You've got a choice of three games. One of them will be completely destroyed See, and you'll never get to play it ever again. I would just bin Destiny I, 2 straight off. Brink would always be the one I'd have to do because it looks so good and its potential just turned out to be shockingly awful. Oh yeah, um, Brink was god awful, I'm not gonna lie. Anthem. Anthem should have been so much better. Although I enjoyed Anthem. I still want to go is back Anthem and finish it. Is Anthem still playable? Yes, Anthem is still playable. I have logged into it see, in the last month. Outriders is one of those games that I'd go back and play as well. I need, because I, I do want to play it. Because I've started just, I started it with uh, Ant and James, so I now have to get this shoot. The other one I have to do is that I don't want to do it on my own because I don't want to do it on my own. I just suck it. It's that stupid vampire one. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I full on refuse to play that. I think that would... I, you know what? I'm going to have to change my pick for what I've been off straight away. I, I, fucking start, I started it thinking it looked quite good. And because it's give me random achievements, I have no choice but to deal with it and actually have to. I'd just play, play it, it up until you get to the point where you even at your gamer score and then just bin it off and never play it again. <sighs> Honestly, I would. It's the same with me and um, what was it? I was playing that I had to basically get random achievements on. Oh yeah, that was it. Riders Republic. Where I got like 16 G gate, 16 G achievements and stuff. I'm just going, what the 
Brig. Like, who wants to, why? Why? Uh, it, it annoys me when developers go, oh, we'll just make it like 15, like 16 or 17 gamer score for an achievement. I'm like, you've done that on purpose to essentially make people play the game up until the, the point where they've game either that evened ever everything out. The first game that ever messed up my gamer score. DJ Hero? DJ Hero. Nope, never again. Never got into it either. I played it a few times, it ruined my game of score, then I thought, like, nope. And then I used... I found a FIFA game. FIFA to fix it. Yeah, I believe it was FIFA that fixed it at one Last point. Last gasp goal is the one, because it was the score in the 89th minute. Yeah. You basically scummed that. I did. And then, at some point along the line, I've picked up achievements that ruined it again. Of course. Redfall being one of them. I'd say if you're able to and you've got an achievement that ends in like a two or something. Oh, I need a four. Uh, da, 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 da. Four sixteens are sixty four. So Thing just play I... just play Riders Republic. Yeah, but I, I don't, don't want to add more games oh. to my already uncompleted game list because it's I went You don't from have like... to finish it. Just No 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 a but bit. so I went at one point from having a like seventy four percent game completion to like less than twenty five and now I got it up to like forty three and now it's back at like twenty five again. Ah, uh, is this a TA thing? Yeah, it just bugs me. It just bugs me that I end up starting these games. I just don't see, like the the having nine hundred out of a thousand on Dead Island Two. We'll go back to that and finish that. Other yeah, weekend, but mate, like it? you can see though. Yeah, like it bugs me just because I know there's like one one or two achievements. The thing is though, they're those time-consuming achievements, and it's I get I, I get it. I want to finish it too and just have it done, but I'm also at the same point of. I think we played that much Dead Island 2, and we basically finished it that quick that I was just sort of a bit burnt out. I mean, we didn't finish it quick quick. No, it, it, took, us like a, we... it took us a good month or so. It wasn't like we completely blitzed it, but it is just one of those things where I'm just like... I really needed a break from it. I mean, to be fair, once I've got those last few achievements, that's it. It's being uninstalled and I'm never playing it again because I'm not getting the DLC. Because the DLC just doesn't seem worth it for a few hours worth of gameplay. No. If it was a fiver, I'd buy it. I'd be like, yeah, let's buy it. Oh, yeah, I'd defo. I'd just be like, that's it, buying it. Whatever. It's only a fiver. Get clean, little horsies. Get clean. Just gonna stand under here. I'm just gonna lay down here with this power washer and clean the horses. I'm Sorry. just cleaning off what I can. But no, I mean to be fair, it is a it is a one of those things like. Oh no! People someone, go on. Someone cleaned the pole. I reckon we could have got the 95% one on this. We probably could have, but... I'll tell you what, we, we could have got on that on one. earlier. Was that the is that the helicopter you're talking about then, Luke? I was going to say we could have done it on the Penny Farthing. What, on the Penny Farthing? Yeah, you can, you can replay it. Because uh, me and Frank did it earlier and we just smashed the Penny Farthing out pretty quickly. But I suppose if you're really careful about how you do it... Yeah, because it's the smallest one, so you can kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, play 
play over and over. One that you'll basically a game that you wouldn't get bored of, or you can't get bored of, and you just enjoy playing to the point of you just keep playing it. wasn't so I need to finish um, Starfield as well I know ne I never did I got so far in and then I just work and then just never played it Because they've got D they've just brought out DLC, haven't they, for it? The Shattered Space DLC, yeah. Yeah. I can honestly say, Starfield, I started and I'm just not bothered by it. I was, I was enjoying it because it, it made me feel a bit. It made me feel very Mass Effecty. Yeah. Putting a, putting the big hole in the middle so the uh, AI shot straight for it. <laughs> so I like the fact that you could go across the planets to not only to find certain stuff, but you could uh, grab all the resources and set up your outposts. I did one, or I started to do one, just to have it. Yeah. No, I haven't ever played it. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a constant supply of money. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Man, just spending like no what like like money in a thing. It just becomes just another thing that you just kind of have, essentially. How did you make the damn farm too complicated, is what I want to know.
Ah. I'm gonna say, how do you crash the game using just a simple fact? To be fair, if any game can be used like it can be proven to for that, then you, to be fair, you could probably crash any game doing that, couldn't you? Really, if you thought about it. Yeah. I can only imagine. Oh, that's pretty cool. John Cena. What would be buried under snow? I'm guessing you had no choice but to build it on a cold planet. Yeah. Yeah. Bollocks. There's no way colder than half, other than maybe Pluto. <laughs> oh, it's not cold. It's not colder than Pluto, then. Pluto is like minus 200 and. 30? <laughs> Centigrade? 
So, Pluto is basically 40 degrees off being absolute zero. <laughs> what? What? No, no, Frank. 200, minus 230 degrees Celsius is already 230 degrees below zero. Yeah, absolute zero is minus 272. But Fahrenheit isn't that much of a jump. No, that's minus 272 degrees Celsius. But absolute zero. See, I, I would say zero is just zero. There's Sorry. zero, and then there's absolute zero, which means that nothing will ever fall. That they know of. Well, it's the coldest that we know of scientifically. And the only way to reach absolute zero is sucked through. Science. Right. I'm going to leave you in the middle of it. I'm Are gonna, you going on top? I'm going on the top. Because it will give us a better reading, because obviously it says 76%. Yeah. I tried to get the achievement for having for being on the carousel with a gnome. No, no, you have to place the gnome on it, don't you? I did do. There's a gnome literally on it. I'm going to get both gnomes. Fuck it. Re read the tunes. I think it says something like, make sure the gnome is on the carousel at the end of the... Do you guys find the way aliens are portrayed kind of ridiculous and doesn't add up? Hmm. I've never actually thought about that. How aliens in games are kind of portrayed a bit... Depends on the aliens, really. I mean, the aliens in Mass Effect make sense. True, there's lots of different species in Mass Effect. I'd like to say that the Necromorphs in Dead Space are sort of alien-ish, but we, both, we all kind of know that the only aliens that appear in Dead Space are in Dead Space 3. And even then, they're not really... They're sort of like the aliens that you'd find in Independence Day. <laughs> well, they look a bit more like the Independence Day aliens. You know, the question you should be asking is... Why do all the aliens speak English? And if no one answers this correctly... You get a slap. Ask your chat as well, Frank. Yeah, they're already... They've gone in your... Neo's just gone, you read my mind, but in Dead Space they don't speak. Technically the aliens in Dead Space don't speak. No, but every alien in every game always speaks English. And when you are ready, I will give you the answer as to why. Go on, then. TARDIS. TARDIS. TARDIS translator. That's why they all speak English. They've just gone with the Doctor Who method. Yep. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Complete the, clean the carousel without turning it off. Have I, got the, have I got that achievement already? And it's not popped, because if I have, I'm going to be pissed. We haven't finished it yet, Frank, that's why. <laughs> we're, we're still cleaning the carousel. 
Well, I say that, I'm still cleaning the canopy. So, then... if you've ever watched Doctor Who, Neo, or you know of Doctor Who, essentially the TARDIS, which means, which stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space, which is also wrong because the TARDIS actually corrected the Doctor on that as well, which is hilarious, the fact that he got corrected on the name of his own ship by his ship. It's fucking great. Um, has an auto-translate and translates any language into the natural language of those aboard the TARDIS. Although, the Doctor doesn't need that because the Doctor can speak every language because it's the Doctor and he's essentially the smartest being there ever is and ever will be. Although, technically, you could claim the Master is smarter than the Doctor, but the Doctor is more resilient and has better plans. Well, I mean, the Master's not dead. No, it's the, master, it's the Mistress now, isn't it? No, 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 Frank, no. God, are you that far behind? Uh, I've already just started watching the new series. He killed the Mistress off like three series ago, four series ago. Oh, the Master came back and killed himself? No, no, no. Herself. No. The Doctor killed her. Oh, yeah. You know, in the... Uh, when the, the teacher that's with... Oh, I know, yeah. What's her name? Comes back out of the grave, don't he? And basically kills them all off, and as the Cybermen piss off, essentially. Yeah. Um, I didn't like the Peter Capaldi series that much. Um, I liked Peter Capaldi as the I Doctor. I did watch some of the Jodie uh, Whittaker series. Jodie Whittaker series, or most of it. I, re I recorded all eight of the new ones. Oh, with um, Nakuti, um, I can't remember his name, yeah. but the new Doctor. He's and actually then, really good, that's who I'm watching I, at the moment. I watched a few of them, and then I ended up deleting them off my Skybox, because for some reason I just didn't like want to watch it. But Lou has her favourite, her favourite is Christopher Eccleston. Yeah, but Eccleston was a good Doctor, and to be fair, if they hadn't been giving him such bad writing in the first series he might no, have lasted another series no he no no he left he didn't want to be known as the doctor just he, just the doctor yeah and that was his choice and he fucked up but my favorite will always be david tennant he's good and matt smith i like both I'm going to say something, and it's because I've, I've, I've been watching from... C oh, Doctor Who, it, it's actually fairly decent if you're a sci-fi fan. It's full of all, chock full of all sorts of crazy sci-fi stuff. Um, but, weirdly enough, my favourite Doctor is a much older... is much older because I've been watching the original... I've been watching oh, from, so like, Series 1 with you, William Hartnell and stuff. If you want to go old, it's going to be Tom Baker. Yes, it's Tom Baker because of the Jelly Babies. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Tom, Tom Weirdly Colin, enough, Tom his... Tom and Colin his... Baker are my, uh, would, would be the two older ones that I like. My two favourites are William Hartnell and Tom Baker. William Hartnell is... And you'll have to bear with me on this one. Simply because... And it's something that, I, that Christopher Eccleston sort of mimicked, and so did Peter Capaldi. Everybody is stupider than me, therefore I am right even when I'm wrong. It, yeah. it, it, it was more, it's more the, it's not, I would say, the arrogance of it all that I liked about them. It was the whole, they don't really, your opinion isn't required unless I tell you to give me it. Not when I ask for it, when I tell you to give it me, sort of thing. Was the reason I liked William Hartnell and Christopher Eccleston as, doc, as the Doctor, because... They both sort of... Peter Capaldi had the same thing. They sort of basically went with the whole, well, we'll just... We'll be our own Doctor, but we'll bring aspects of another Doctor in just to enhance what we're doing. And with them doing the whole William Hartnell, you're all stupider than me, and I'm the smartest one in the room, 
thing, it was kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, Tom Baker's still the best Doctor going. I mean, that scarf is just amazing. <laughs> oh, this roof is taking ages. Yeah. Jodie Whittaker wasn't bad. I just think that she was sort of... Well, they've already stated that with James Bond, that's never happening anyway. I mean, Ian, I mean, who is it? You got, you got to think though, so the master did it first. To be fair, with the master doing it first, it kind of helps in the fact that they did it because they went, well, if the master can do it, well, why can't it, the It's got to be in the regeneration this somewhere. Yeah. Same as him being ginger, which he's... Has he been ginger yet? Yeah, no. But uh, I'm just wondering, has the Doctor actually been ginger yet? I mean, technically Jodie Whittaker? No, she was brunette, wasn't she? She's more blonde. Yeah. And Yorkshire, which is probably why most people probably didn't enjoy her as the Doctor as much, I would say. I don't want to be that person that goes, oh, by the way, it's a Yorkshire actor, so everyone hates it. But there are some people that, you know. Mate, the entire thing of her first season was set in Yorkshire. Yeah, the entire thing it was, it was all filmed in Sheffield. The entire cast were from Yorkshire. Yep, they were from Chef. <laughs> no, they were from Yorkshire. Yes, but some, a lot of them were from Sheffield, Bradley Walsh which is in Yorkshire. Not from Sheffield. No, Bradley Walsh is from Sheffield and all that. But some of the others were. Jodie Wake is from Sheffield. No, wait, no, is she? No, Google. I don't think she is. Uh, Jodie Wake, actress. Where's she from? Where's she from? Where's she from? She's from Skelmanthorpe. She's from West Yorkshire. Yeah. Ugh. She's from that god awful place. And technically, Wikipedia, it's it's the West Riding of Yorkshire, just to be correct. Not West Yorkshire. It's the East Riding and the West Riding, the North and South. Someone on Wikipedia doesn't know what they're doing. I just edit that. Technically, West Riding of Yorkshire, not West Yorkshire. What can you do one? the same thing nowadays so no it isn't yeah but it depends how you look at it because do you know how big Yorkshire is yes it's the largest county in the country but how far north would you say it goes As far as up to the lakes. Okay, so if I told you, uh, you know, uh, Geordie Land, yeah? So like Newcastle Newcastle, area. yeah. I don't know where Geordie Land is. Yeah, so just across from Newcastle. There's yes, it, we are near. We are from Britain. There's its uh, neighbour, Middlesbrough. Uh, which is as high up as Newcastle and in the same area but it's actually in Yorkshire I thought Middlesbrough was Midland no Middlesbrough is in Yorkshire hmm. yeah disgusting the things you know well Britain is a loose term England to be precise I still think that we need to adjust the fucking application forms in the UK 
What are you? British? Nationality? British? No, I'm fucking English. I will live. It's on my birth certificate. I'm English. <laughs> I actually had that rant with someone at work, and they basically turned around and said that I'm just being an idiot. Ooh, what's the weather like in Morocco? Probably Never been to Morocco. Probably about I want to go. 20 degrees. Probably warmer, actually. It depends. Wait, oh, no. Would Morocco spring. be in autumn now? Or... Yeah, it's also, it still it's also 10 o'clock at night out there. Morocco doesn't share our time zone. It's nearly 11 here, Frank. There's like an hour difference. Really? There's only an hour difference between us and Morocco? Um, I, I'm presuming so, yeah. Uh, am I Conservative or Labour? Um, Neither. Nine. Neither. Oh, they, Morocco does share our time zone. See? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, yes, but weirdly enough, Portugal is the only country within Europe that drives on our same drives on our side of the road. <laughs> Are you sure on that? Well, it's certain. Are you sure? You sure? I'm fairly sure. Not 100% fine, but... I'm, I'm sure there's more than that. GMT! GMT! Actually, to be fair, I could go for a GMT right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Bad oh, jokes I'm... be made. Frank, I've just found the most awkward places to clean. Yeah? Walking across the edge up the top here, and looking over to find the tiny little gap that are full of... Cack? Is the correct word we're going to use here? Yeah. I have not been to Gibraltar, no. I would like to. But to be fair, there's a lot of places I want to go, but at the moment... He's I have not, not been. He's not allowed to leave the country. Don't say that. I mean, do you have a passport? Yes. A valid passport? Yes! This is where Frank valid till twenty thirty. It's, it's valid till twenty thirty one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> valid for another seven years. <laughs> is it blue? Now that one I don't know. You don't know if your passport's red or blue. Blue. And it is valid till do 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 do. Yeah. October 15th, 2021, so it's got another six and a bit years on it. I mean, technically, you can kind of leave the country still. Yeah, I can leave the country. I don't need permission to leave the country. <laughs> well, you do, that's Apart why you from... have to get a passport. I mean, I technically need permission to leave the country from work as well, unless I want to lose my job. <laughs> Losing my job, not really on the agenda today. Or maybe tomorrow. I've forgotten how I dropped the ladder now. Uh, we've missed 1% of the carousel platform, one ceiling frame, the centre pole base, two centre pole frames. So, with the passports in the UK... Centre pole um, rings, pole Neo, toppers, when crest frames... The UK left the European Union, not, not Europe, we can't leave Europe, unfortunately. We are till we are technically a part of the continent, even though we're not part of the continent. It's very confusing and very annoying. Um, we everyone goes, oh, we left Europe, we're screwed, and we're just like, we didn't leave Europe. You can't leave a continent. Yeah, exactly. It, the amount of people that go, oh, we left Europe, I'm like. Have we moved geographically? What do you mean by that? Has the UK moved from Europe? No. Then we're still part of Europe! 
But no, we, we left the European Union after Brexit, which caused all sorts of... Oh, we don't even... I'm still surprised people actually go on about that, to be honest, because it's just one of those things that I'm just like, it happened! Get over it! It's still <laughs> happening, that's the problem. I mean... Oh, no, no, we left. We left. No, we've we've already left. We're just we're just literally waiting for the European Union to actually accept a deal. Yeah, Brexit. That that before we we don't talk about that. If in doubt, kick them out. I'm not commenting on that. Yeah, I've had to leave. I didn't... I don't think I voted, to be honest. I and annoyingly, we, so we still send stupid amounts of money to other countries. I was going to say, I mean... Where's the point in that? I mean, we vote... Uh, they're not European countries, though, I don't think, are they? Or Ukraine... Are they? That, that's a different story. Not really. I agree with the support of Ukraine. I mean, to be fair, we don't really send money. We send money in other... We do send money. No, we don't no. send that much money. We send money Frank, in other ways. In Frank, the Frank, Frank, of Frank, 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 Frank. Okay, stop there. Stop, 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 stop. They just took 300 million from old people because they can't afford to pay the winter fuel allowance, yeah? 300 million. Yep. They sent double that the day after to Ukraine. Mm, typical. 600 million. Typical Labour government for you. That's the problem. If you, so if okay, so if you look back over time, the last four Labour governments that have been in have all bankrupt the UK. Yeah, because they don't know what they're doing. But yet people vote them in. I always vote monster in the only party. My car, I put the fucking ladder down. My game's crashing. It won't let me put the ladder down, but it's let me get my gun out. Better than right, I'm just going to drop out. And no, then no, I, ha I have myself back in. I have the I have the ladder on me now. Ah. The ladder has been put down. I will just join your game again. <laughs> Leaving European Union wouldn't have been bad if Corona didn't happen, but now top, now top on that you have the Russian war. We, to be fair, the Russian war is left, technically in Ukraine. We left the European Union. Well now before the, to Corona. Be fair, we did leave before Corona. It was like 2016. We left. Yeah. Corona hasn't helped the economy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but the Russian war's not really hit us that bad in all fairness that's still in russia and ukraine so that's going on we are we are sending yeah but the economy to be fair the economy got impacted in a lot of countries china was hit the worst when it got after covid china is china's still bouncing back i mean countries in the box no they didn't eat a bat that's fucking Ebola, you stupid pill. They were creating a they were creating a fucking virus. Ebola's a, a West African disease, I think, from what I learned on um, the Grand Tour. Uh, it's all about but that. Can... It's all about that um, hand, foot, and mouth and mad cow disease. Bird flu. Yeah. Okay, which ceiling frame have we missed? Ah. 
I don't know if he believes it, to be honest, Neo, but to be fair, I'm not going to question it either, because it's too much. It's a lot of effort, and it's a headache. Yeah. Asking if you believe that China was behind coronavirus. <laughs> well, they, they, they did kind of release all the paperwork that showed they were doing stuff with things, and that's how it's kind of started. Yeah, but technically you could say that because Ebola started in West African countries because people were eating bats, that West Africa technically started Ebola. They did. That is the case. Just like mad cow disease and bird flu were started over here. So, so, so was myxomatosis as well. Myxomatosis is probably, I would say, one of the worst ways for any creature to die. <laughs> right. Uh, center pole base, one center pole frame, center pole ring, center pole topper, two cresting trim. Oh, a cresting oh. trim and a cresting panel, four crestings. I just figured out you can hold X to change your attachments. There is eight horse rods that we haven't done any of them. Because bloody things moving. It's a bit hard to actually finish something when you can't see it. It'd be nice if I could get the scaffold around here, because then I could actually finish that off. Or the ladder at least. Be quite surprised at the stuff that we talk about, to be honest, Neo. It's all most mental stuff. To be fair, the one thing we haven't spoken about yet is the F1. Oh, zippy fight. I'm not gonna lie, mate. You're not wrong. You aren't wrong. It's very now the, the Max Verstappen show instead of the Lewis okay. Hamilton show, which was okay. just as boring. Stop. Sorry, sorry, but that proves both of you have not watched anything this season. Just, yeah, I've been watching just, the season. Frank, if you have been watching this season, you will know Max Verstappen has not won in the last, like, nine or ten races. Yes, I know, but it's... All, he's, he's that's not all, all anyone talks near. about at the moment in F1, and, and every time you watch it, all they talk about is Max Verstappen and the fact that he's going for his fourth championship, and I'm kind of bored of hearing about Max bloody Verstappen. Well, it's F1. Unfortunately, you're always going to hear about whoever's going for the title. I get that. It's just... Uh... Even when Hamilton was dominating, there was more talk about other teams and other drivers than Hamilton. Yeah, but at the moment, there's not really a lot else going on. I'm, be, I'm happy that... Next I'm, to be fair, even if Norris doesn't get a championship this year... I am still going to be happy if McLaren come away with the Constructors' Championship because it will just completely piss Christian Horner off that his team have developed better cars with an ability to apparently change the ride height through mid through with a little device in the car that was seat that for some reason the FIA have had to seal it, which means that there's definitely something wrong with what they were doing, which means that's why they've had to seal that particular piece of information. Yes. Yeah. The FIA don't just seal something just because they won. Although, to be fair, they could. They could actually seal all the car designs so none of the no. teams could. But it's got to be open source because it's got to be part of fair play. But what's the betting? It goes all the way back to their first title win um, with Max Verstappen that year. You mean that year when that race should have ended under the safety car and it didn't because Christian yep. Horner basically bullied the FIA into the stewards into releasing the safety car? Yep. And then even then Knowing... not, do, not doing protocol and letting the cars overtake first. And of course not having, you know, and Max Verstappen being well out of position as well, just, just, just to confirm that. Because he was. It, it, his front tyres were well... Pretty oh, yeah. much at the halfway point of Hamilton's back, halfway along Hamilton's car. Oh, 
Uh, the VX. To be fair, uh, I liked the V. I can't really say that it's spoiled it for me because the cars still sound nice. Yeah, I'll say. This. The, the cars I mean, are more powerful mate. now than what they were 10 years ago. True. True. I would still, and it's probably it, it probably wouldn't make near as no difference like to take every driver that is currently driving at the moment and stick them in the cars that Nicky Lauder and James Hunt have to drive they literally do <clears> that <throat> every year at like Goodwood and stuff that happens so often Like when oh. Jaguar and um, Jordan were a team. Yeah, I don't think there was any skill. I think it's I think it's more skillful now <coughs> because you're literally you're not just driving a car nowadays. You have so many things to think of and do as you're doing it. I suppose. I mean. You tell me you're gonna, not... you're going to break from 300 to 40 by an hour in a corner whilst changing modes on your steering wheel. I'm not saying I could do that. In no way am I implying that I can. No, no, or... but I'm saying that the skill now is so much harder than it was 20, 30 this... years ago. Obviously, I'd say it's all about the driver back then, because the cars were all the same. Yeah, exactly. Back in what? James Hunt, Nicky Lauder, back Nigel then, Mansell? pretty much every car was the same. Every car up until like the mid-2000s required the driver to be properly in tune with that car and know everything about that car when they were on that track. I mean, they still do. They still do, yeah, but not to the, probably more to the point of they know more about their cars now than the drivers back then did, but the one thing that I want to get rid of is Pirelli because they do my head in. Why? What, there's what? always some issue, there's always an issue with the tyres at some point throughout the season and it's always bloody either because Pirelli haven't done something right, or they've not tested something right, and it's okay, always... No, 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 no. Pirelli have been the only tyre provider for God knows how long now. They only they can only base their tyres on what drivers give them from the previous year. Yeah, so but like this the... year it seems to be that the tyres are shit. Nice. No, how, how do you work that out? There's been no problem with any sort of tyres at all. There's no, been, some there's have been no tyres, but I think, that's been more no... I think that's more than just not There's been no tyre blowouts or anything this year. To be fair, F1 now has just become a health and safety exercise. I mean, it's a good thing. I'm not going to deny I mean, it. It kind of has to after Roman Grosjean hit a wall and the car exploded and split into two. I mean, what about that one driver that died after Suzuka? When they had to black flag the race? There's been five or six deaths across the former series in the last ten years. Whether it's F1, F2... I mean, Alonso would have been dead if he didn't have a halo in his car a couple of years ago. Yeah. 
Would you say this is the fairground? Uh, yes. Right, so I'm looking through my achievements and I can't find anything about a gnome. I may have got that wrong, but I did just get an achievement for knocking down some coconut. Yeah, I was just reading that. It says to knock them all down. Yep. No, because I, I agree with you, because I'm sure I saw an achievement that said something about... A gnome on the carousel. The, the gnome being on the carousel at the end when you finished it. Well, let's finish it. Hold on. Dual head. Aha. Ah, no, no, Frank. Gnome sweet gnome. In the temple, ensure the gnome is on the tower roof once the job is complete. Okay, so we've only got a few things that we need to do. So we need to do... The centre pole ring, the centre pole topper. Which is all up there somewhere. It's in here. Centre pole topper is done. Centre pole ring is. Oh, I can't see because this is too. The one just beneath the topper. Yeah. So this game, Neo, is essentially just cleaning stuff with a power washer. It's just a relaxing game where you just chill and clean things. At it, really. There we go. It's the ring. And eventually we'll get the uh, lawnmowers out. There's a centre pole frame. And a cresting frame. Cresting fr oh. Yeah, okay, so there's, there's a cresting frame, a cresting, a cresting panel, and a cresting trim. So it's like one whole, one whole part of the eight hasn't been touched. The so horse, we've done horse, all the... It's one panel. There's one panel where the crests are, where one of everything is missing. And then it's... There's two poles to do, right, and so eight horse rods. Let's have a look around. I've highlighted it so it will show it. Okay, uh. Bye -bye. Get a bit, mate. Pick a... Game's just simply wash things with a power washer, mate. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's not much. There's no real like. There is, there is no like, aim. There is no real aim to it, I suppose. It's yeah, that's chill the best out. way of putting it. Chill and just clean things. Basically, <laughs> it's great. Right. So that customer at work proper insulted me today, Luke. Why? That sounded like I was from Yorkshire. I was not impressed. I am not Yorkshire. <laughs> Are you sure? Bollocks to you and all! <laughs> no, I I'm, won't know. I'm from Lancashire. Lincolnshire, thank you! <laughs> It'd be rude, at least be rude about it properly. No. So we're missing seven horse rods, one cresting trim, and yeah. two poles. So the horse rods to the bottom bit. Not the gold bit at the bottom, but like the pole underneath the horse. That's going to be a bell to clean with these fuckers moving. Oh, it is. I've done one so far. I'm kind of spraying the front of them all as they come past. Yeah, I'm sort of doing the same, just trying to get as much as possible.
But do you not get metal cleaner and just spray them with the soap nozzle? I could do. I mean, metal cleaner. I have a friend from London, and I always complain to him about how complicated some region names in England are. You see, yeah, that's the problem. Um, I mean, technically, ye olde English and ye olde days when all the different shires of the UK were as they were, it was Lincolnshire, Lancashire, Yorkshire. But different problem is, obviously, you've got all your different regional dialects and all your, and then you've got Sussex, Wessex, Kent, for some reason. Essex. Don't know why we named a place Kent. We must have been we must have been running low on we must have been running short on names and gone, Oh, this sounds like a good name. Can shall I make shall I make it even weirder? Go on, Ed. Tell me why Leeds Castle is in Kent. Yeah, yeah I don't know why, but Leeds Castle. But if someone says to you, oh, we're going to Leeds Castle. You'd be thinking we're going Leeds. Yeah, but you're going to Kent. Why? Seems a bit weird. I have sprayed them all with metal cleaner. As much as I can. This is going to be one. I may have to come out the other side and... You know what? I'm just going to do this so that we can highlight them. So it's the horse poles, isn't it? Oh, there you go. We've got two poles, six rods, and a cresting something or other. Horse rods, there we go. That'll highlight all the ones we're missing. So glow. That's one. I've got one of the poles. Yeah, I managed to get I've managed to get three so far. To be fair, Neo, you know, the most confusing thing really is like when people say something in the UK, because obviously where I live in Yorkshire. We wouldn't normally say we're going to the shop. It's I'm just going Been to and the shop. It proper, just going to just going shop or just nipping to just go, nipping to Lou or something. The amount of people that get confused by that is rather common, isn't it? Yeah. But then again, because it's a different thing altogether, people aren't used to the way. But I, I understand it. Yeah, no, you understand it. Nifty understands it. No, but then again, he's from Birmingham. <laughs> it's like when you say you don't say you're going to Egypt. You're going, you go to Egypt. No, I'm going Egypt. Not I'm going to Egypt. That's just I'm going. All right, we're just missing the crest in trim. We will find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it not uh, one of these one of up them. here? I'm just finding out. Uh, two sacks. Because yeah, if I see, actually, crest, if we highlight, Christine trim, Christine. For, I don't know how to highlight it. If you go, to, if you press the start button, yeah, go in shop. Go in. So it's go in is G O I N T. It's, it's essentially going to the. Oh. Got I mean, to... it's similar to the French Quebec. Yeah. It's it's going to and so essentially you just say the T is the lowercase because. Weird. 
Bray, especially in Yorkshire. Although I'm not from there. <laughs> There's a cresting trim that we're missing, and I can't find which one's the trim. If you press the start button and then find it and press A to highlight it, you can find it. you'll be able to find it. But you should be able to search for it. Well, I press A. Have you found it? Cresting trim is... You know the bits of wood on the side, the yellow bits on the side next to the the poles. Yeah. With, um... I don't think where we've missed one. This is the damn sight more annoying than when we did that bloody but that's a pole fire station. See, that says to be pole topper. For. The cresting trim is this red piece that runs between the poles on the inside this bit. Well, that's easy. I can just roll, just ride around in a circle. Ah, uh, this one's slashing. Got it. Oh, thank God! I'm interested in knowing the difference between the way you speak English and the way I learned at school. Ah! So! Ray! Allow me to... Well, we'll give you a slight education on how you learned to speak English in school and how English is spoken in UK like. Because it's easy. And don't you start, Luke, because I know the Yorkshire's coming out and it's not good. I don't like it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. <laughs> right. So he go we would have learned. He could go get we... one of these chatteries and eat some chatter and iron. Don't, don't you start. I'm not from Somerset. Me and my combine <laughs> Arister. Alright, give it a rest. Um anyway, um so... I'm allowed, I'm a Leeds fan. I have full clearance. <laughs> yeah, but you're not from Somerset, that. so it's a different story altogether. <laughs> you sure in Somerset is the same is literally the same accent. Apart from Somerset's is slightly deeper because they don't sound And thicker. And thicker too. And harder to understand. Anyway, so we'd have basically learnt to we'd have basically learnt English same way anyone else does, except different vocabulary, different way of learning it. But same concepts. Only problem is Unlike other countries, when other countries are learning English, it's a secondary language. Sometimes, most of the time. Actually, I'm trying to think. I don't think... Are there any other countries other than us, America... Some parts of Canada, Australia, New Zealand... And possibly South Africa that actually have English as, a, as, their, as their technical main language? I think there's quite a few. There's obviously more than just those countries. But obviously every country learns to speak English differently. Most country, a lot of countries on the planet, English is like a second or a third language that they would learn. Oh, Frank. Yes? Hayeslight have confirmed and it takes 2-2. Two, two. What? <laughs> you you drew? <laughs> no, and it takes two two. Yeah. Uh, it's been confirmed. Oh, he's like t oh, it takes two as in number two. Yeah. Oh, that should be good. That'd be a good game for him. Oh, here we go. Parts, but... We drive on the left, yes, Frank. 
Yes. United Kingdom. Australia I do. United Kingdom, Ireland, Malta, Cyprus, the Channel Islands, including Guernsey and Jersey and the Isle of Man. Which part of Ireland? Because Ireland's technically two separate countries. Are we talking Ireland or the Republic I think, of Ireland? I think, I think they both do. Yeah. Oh, so Neo's just just said uh, parts so, of Belgium speak English and Germany too. To, so to your, be fair, your yeah. whole thing of Portugal is wrong. Okay, there's lots of other places other than. To be fair, technically Guernsey and Jersey are part of the British Isles. No, they're the Channel they're the, Islands. Technically, they're the Sillies. <laughs> Different islands altogether. But yeah, Portugal, Man's Portugal Drive on the right. Portugal Drive on the left, they drive on our side of the road. No, they don't. I'm literally reading this now. Oh, fair enough. They drive on the wrong side of the road then. Typical. But they've got the right they've got the correct time zone, so that's all that matters. <laughs> it means when I go to Portugal, I'm not travelling to the future. <laughs> I don't lose any holiday time. But yeah, we we basically learn English the same as anyone else. We have oh. to learn it. But just speaking is different because everyone learns to speak it differently because obviously the parents and how they grow up and where they grow up and now they're, you know. But yeah. The way I speak English is different to the way someone else in the UK speaks English or anywhere else. Isn't technic Luke? Just to confirm, Pardon? Wales's language is Wales's technical language is still Welsh, isn't it? Yeah, it's Welsh. Yeah. Because Ireland's is Gaelic. Yeah. Along with Scotland. Yes. And we've well, just got English. English. Although technically we were technically England, Scotland, Ireland, and all them were all part of the same group of people, the Celts, and then the Celts buggered off to Scotland and Wales and <laughs> Ireland and left us to be English and basically went, we don't want you in our club anymore, go away. <laughs> and we were like, alright, we'll just form our own country and what we want and then invade. <laughs> Is the technical term for it. Oh, oh I did get my achievement. Merrily go around. Yeah, it's like 50G off. as well, or something for that one. Completely clean the carousel without turning it off. Yeah. Shall we see what's next? Yeah, go on then. <laughs>